For over a century now, aircraft carriers have stood as the ultimate symbol of naval power and global influence. They're not just mobile fortresses on the ocean, they're clear proof of a nation's technological prowess, industrial capacity, and defense strategy. As the world witnesses increasingly fierce competition among global powers, the emergence of the Fujian aircraft carrier, China's most advanced vessel, has raised a lot of questions. Is China steadily closing the gap with the US in the race for ocean control? Or is this merely an ambitious display of engineering that still lacks real-world practicality? In today's video, let's join Trun Discovery to explore the true might of the Fujian carrier, the technological strides China has made, and how the US is reacting to this bold move. The silent battle beneath the ocean. The competition between the two superpowers on the high seas is entering a new chapter, and perhaps the future will be decided from these very flight decks. The launch of the Fujian is also a clear warning to the US and its allies in the region. The US has long maintained absolute maritime superiority, thanks to its 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, capable of deploying anywhere in the world. However, the rapid rise of the Chinese Navy, especially with carriers like the Fujian, is gradually shifting the balance. Washington has made clear moves to counter this new challenge, from increasing its military presence in the Indo-Pacific, bolstering military alliances, to deploying more nuclear submarines and long-range bombers. Not only that, but the US is also stepping up defense cooperation with strategic partners like Japan, South Korea, the Philippines and Australia, to form a network that aims to curb China's military might. China's decision to send the Fujian on sea trials just days after the US and Philippines concluded their Balakatan 2024 exercise, involving over 16,000 troops, clearly shows Beijing's precise timing. Analysts suggest this is a deterrent message, emphasizing that China is ready to flex its naval muscle if it feels its security interests are threatened. Even so, Successfully operating a large aircraft carrier like the Fujian is no easy feat. The U.S. spent decades developing and perfecting its carrier warfare doctrine, from task group organization and coordinating various assets, to maintenance and professional pilot training. China still lacks real-world combat experience and has never deployed its carriers in large-scale military operations. Some experts also point out that the Fujian doesn't yet have fixed-wing early warning aircraft like the US E-2D Hawkeye, which is an indispensable component for ensuring early detection and reaction capabilities in combat. Furthermore, integrating and operating an electromagnetic launch system is also a major challenge. While in theory, electromagnetic catapults boost aircraft launch efficiency and reduce carrier workload. In practice, the U.S. spent nearly 15 years and billions of dollars perfecting this technology on the USS Gerald R. Ford. Whether China can immediately deploy an equivalent and effectively operating system remains a huge question mark. Meanwhile, the U.S. has accumulated decades of experience in operating nuclear-powered carriers, coordinating multi-branch operations, and projecting global power. U.S. Nimitz or Ford-class carriers can operate continuously at sea for months without refueling something that China's conventional fuel-powered carriers like the Fujian still can't do. Nevertheless, it's undeniable that China has made enormous strides in its ambition to become a maritime superpower. The Fujian's appearance, with its advanced technologies and impressive scale, shows Beijing is closing the gap with the US, at least in terms of symbolism and potential capability. While many challenges lie ahead, the Fujian carrier is still a powerful declaration that China is no longer content with being just a regional power, but is striving to become a global strategic competitor. Beyond the technical aspects, an aircraft carrier is also a tool of diplomacy and a projection of a nation's soft power. China's possession of a modern carrier like the Fujian doesn't just serve military objectives, it also helps the country expand its influence in humanitarian aid operations, supporting allies, and asserting its position in disputed waters. Additionally, developing aircraft carriers boosts the domestic defense industrial chain, from producing engines and heat-resistant steel to marine electronic systems, creating a technological leap forward. However, true power doesn't just come from hardware. 
It also lies in command capability, deployment strategy, and interbranch coordination. Can China develop a complete system like the U.S. has done over many decades? The race is still on, and the outcome could reshape the world's maritime order for decades to come. Will modern technology be enough to close the gap with the U.S.? What do you think about the future competition between these two superpowers? Leave your comments below, and let's discuss more about China's ambitious moves on the seas with Trun Discovery. If you found this content helpful, please hit like and subscribe to give me more motivation to create more videos. Thank you so much, everyone!